Just like that, we have successfully installed the quick release handle. And then of course, if we want to try it, Just like that, everything works nice and smooth. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got one of the Neptune 3s here from Ocean Reef. And the new Neptune 3s, they come with the quick release bar here on the bottom. Basically that's a method that you can quickly remove the mask if you need to, whether you're above the water or below the water. But this has also happened to be one of the most popular upgrades for any of the previous series. So the Space Series, say the G-Divers, the uh, say the Predator, or any of the other masks, this tends to be one of the most popular upgrades that people were going to. And if you've got a G-Divers, you'll know they had those little tassels that you had to pull on, or if you had the Space Series, they had that little T-bar that you had to pull across. Well, this quick release handle that come on the Neptune 3s, this is what everybody is switching to for the previous mask or previous models as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install the quick release handle on even the previous models from Ocean Reef. All right, guys, so I've got my mask here that I'm going to be installing. And yes, this is the Neptune 3. Yes, this is the handle that came off of it. But I want to show you really quick, if you're wanting to upgrade, the part number that you're going to be looking for is OR005096. Your local Ocean Reef dealer should be able to get this handle for you. If not, give us a call or check out our website. We sell them on there. And of course, uh, we'll get it shipped out to you. But you can use this video to see uh, just how easy it is to install. Inside this package, you're going to get two little tabs. And this is what the tabs look like. They are labeled on the back with either an L or an R. And you want to make sure that you get your mask oriented properly before you install these. And of course, you'll get your uh, quick release handle as well. What I like to do is kind of separate them out, orient them, but to do that, you got to make sure you have your mask flipped upside down. So if it's upside down, looking on the left, we're going to use the left side. Looking on the right, we're going to use the right side. And of course, the way that we install these is if you look at this one here, you're going to remove this screw, which removes the back side of the nut there, and you can separate these tabs out. I've actually already got the left-hand side separated out. So I've got a nut, I've got a screw, I've got the upper portion and the lower portion <coughs> of the tab here. I'm going to start with the <coughs> lower portion here and just kind of get it lined up. And you'll see it just kind of fits smoothly in there. There's a little cut out here where you can just kind of slide it into place just like that. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quick release handle and I'm going to slide the loop up into the bottom to where the screw hole is just like so, like that, okay? So we're gonna get it lined up. We're gonna hold that in place with one of our hands. And then we're going to install the upper portion. And you wanna make sure you get that little tab lined up just like that, okay? So our, well, our rope popped out, so we're going to redo it. There we go. So we got our rope in. We got the upper section in. We got the lower section in. We're going to add our screw back into the hole. And as long as we are lined up, it should go all the way through. Like so. Okay. I'm going to come around to the back. Now, there is a little slot here for the nut to go in. So all I'm going to do is simply stick it in the hole. I'm going to hold both sides with my fingers like so. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to screw it down until it locks into place or until it stops. And then I'm going to inspect it. I want to make sure that everything is nice and flush. I want to make sure that it's gripped in there properly so it doesn't come loose when I go to pull on it. And I'm going to look at the back and make sure that the nut's not stripped in the back and that everything is clipped in. And just like that, the left side is done. We'll go ahead and do the right side for you really quick as well. 
All right, so real quick to do this, we are going to go ahead and disassemble this tab, show you how easy it is. Like I said, you got a screw on one side, you got a nut here on the back. I just keep my finger over the nut there and we're gonna unscrew the screw and then the nut should just pop right out, just like so. And you may have to push a little bit from the back side to get it apart. It's actually a pretty snug fit. Now that our screw's out, we're gonna go ahead and take our sections apart, just like so. And once again, you'll see there's a little indention there where your tab's gonna go. And of course, we wanna make sure that it's oriented with where our handle connects towards the bottom. I'm gonna slot it into position, just like that. All right, and of course, we can put our quick release handle in there, just like that. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and pre-assemble the screw into the upper section, just like that. You can put it around your pull handle, like so. And then when you go to line this up, everything should theoretically be very smooth. Get that in there. Like so. Okay. And I can kind of feel it with my hands. I can feel that everything's nice and smooth. I can feel the screws in. I can install the nut from the back side. Holding it with one hand, I'm going to go ahead and take my screwdriver, screw the screw down with the other. Just like that, we have successfully installed the quick release handle. And then of course, if we wanna try it, just like that, everything works nice and smooth. But guys, that's how easy it is to install a quick release handle on both the G-Divers or any of the Space Series mask, whether it's the Space Mask, the Iron Mask, even the Predator, or if you happen to buy, say, a Neptune 3 used, somebody took the handle off, you can purchase that. Once again, the part that you're looking for is OR005096. Any of your local Ocean Reef dealers should be able to get that part for you. If you can't find it, of course, uh, check out our website down below. We sell them there or simply give us a call and of course, we'll be happy to sell you one. But guys, that's it. That is the quick release handle. It's probably the most common upgrade on the older style ocean reefs uh, that we see or that we do for customers as well. So if you got any questions on this, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. If this video helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. Guys, that's gonna do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.